right, folks, welcome back to the car for part two of the Owensboro thrifting trip. And we are starting our day off at, <clears throat> can't see it, there we go, the Consumer Mall. Now, I've been in here one time before. It is much better than that TNT antique mall you seen me in the last video. And I think I had way better luck in here, too. But I was short on time because I think I was on my lunch for work and I had to run through here. And there is a whole bunch, <coughs> excuse me, a whole bunch of uh, booths that have movies. So hopefully we can find something at this mall. And after we get done here, we're heading across town, go to their mega replay, and that's going to do it. So let's get inside. All right, we're in here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to show the scope of how big this place is, but it's pretty darn big. Um, I think it's an old Royal King, maybe. So we're going to get in here. I'm going to try to find some movies and see what we can find. Okay, we're in our first booth here, and there's nothing but... Uh, VHS around me and I'm looking for one particular VHS I've heard is worth money and that is the Cars uh, Disney exclusive of course I'm not going to find that but figured what the heck and here we are at the one guy again that's got all the stuff usually from libraries and I have to check them out but I found three titles you'll see them afterwards but yeah it's actually uh I found a bunch of stuff last time that was really cool so there's another side to this one let's see what's over there and here's the other side as you can see a bunch more blu-rays and the bigger cases that have to be cut down if you buy them and then all the tv sets and what little dvds he has this this one does not have a whole lot he's got more blu-rays than anything here which is to our advantage so i'm going to keep looking i just got really 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 excited scott pilgrim versus the world i thought this was scott and ramona at first but nope it's just two knives chows one of these days i'll find them there you go we can get fezzik under the giant from prince of the pride that's pretty cool and i've never seen this one before but the toonie terrors jaws never knew they made that so it's cool all right i've been in here for a little bit it is warm but this booth is pretty cool there is CDs, DVDs, books, Blu-rays. As you can see, everything. So I'm gonna be in here for a minute, looking around. So I think my luck was piddling out there. Um, I haven't found anything in a while, but we got all this to go through and all of that. So let's get in here and see if there's anything else I can find. There's a ton of media here. There's all those. There's all those. There's more over there. There's more over there. All over the place. And I got a stack of stuff. So let's keep looking. I just found something I didn't know that I really wanted. Keep covering the snapper. But how about this? Sex in the City Generation 1 DVD still book. That's awesome. I might just pick this up for a battle item. I don't know. Tell me, brother, what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild all over you? All right, we are out of the Consumer Mall Vendor Mall. I picked up five titles, and I am losing my voice. <clears throat> so excuse me. So we're gonna make this quick. First thing I picked up, Jackie Chan, Kung Fu Yoga. Uh, don't have it. It's Jackie Chan. Figured I'd pick it up. This next one, surprisingly, is an A24 title. It has Haley Steinfeld, Jessica Alba, and Samuel L. Jackson in it. Barely lethal. So the only reason I picked this up, A24. That's it. The only reason. Next, that guy that does all the library copies. Again, comes in strong. Um, these I'm going to have to clean up, re- uh, put in new cases and stuff like that, but that's fine. Uh, first one... <clears throat> L. Fanning, Teen Spirit. 
It's about a girl that's trying to launch her music career. It's by the uh, producers of La La Land, too. So that should be good. Next is a movie I've been looking for for quite a while. Brad's Status with uh, Ben Stiller and Austin Abrams. It's supposed to be a really good movie. I have not seen it yet. And it is hot today. I am in here sweating and I'm bright red. Anyway, last title. Picked up. This is one I'm going to have to do some heavy lifting on. Get it really cleaned up. But we need to talk about Kevin. I've been wanting to see this for a long time. I've heard it's really good. Uh, it is an oscilloscope title. Yes, it is. Even has it on the Blu-ray. So that's pretty cool. So I can't wait to check that out. But I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, clean this up and re uh, repackage it. So that's it. Five titles from Consumer Mall, Vendor Mall. Next, I'm going to go across town. We're going to hit their mega replay, and we're going to be done for the day. And we have arrived to our final destination, Super Mega Replay. I guess it's actually just Mega Replay over here in Owensboro. But we're going to get inside. We're going to take a look, see what they got. Let's go. So theirs isn't that big. There's another side of the Blu-rays. But right when you come in is this nice big wall of box sets. Right off the bat, Criterion Collection. The complete Monterey Pop festival and this one which i'm actually kind of interested in this the david lean directs noel coward in which we serve this happy breed blithe spirit and brief encounter so looks pretty cool it's cool packaging on this one too i've never seen this one before or the complete monterey pop i've seen the small edition before but never this one this is blu-ray isn't it i don't know i'm gonna have to look into it either way get over here and start looking well so far it's a uh, pretty good I did find one title Crow City of Angels yes that is a $16.99 but my um, store credit carries over to here I believe if not I've never actually seen this out anywhere before but uh this one thing I like about this store they have a bunch of stuff because I don't think anybody ever comes here and buy stuff. They just sell, 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 which is good for me. And there's a lot of slip covers. Gotta have those slip covers. Now I was joking about slip covers. I don't really care about slip covers for the most part, but I mean, Eddie the Eagle slip cover, that's cool. They do have, even though it was a library rental, Enemy. I've never seen a standalone copy of Enemy, which I have it in a three pack. They've got all sorts of slip covers over here. So if you like slip covers, they got it. Look at this. Ex Machina slip cover. Anyway, let's keep looking and see what we can find. So there's this. I am not paying $24.99 for that. But uh, that is crazy. I've never seen that out on Blu-ray. So we'll keep looking. See what else I got. Get some really good stuff in here. That's all I gotta say. All right, folks, we are out of Mega Replay. I stopped filming about three quarters of the way through there. A bunch of people came in. They were in the same area I was at. Just didn't feel comfortable filming. Plus, there was just an overabundance of crazy, crazy boutique stuff and just crazy titles on the shelf. Like that uh, Joan of Arc, Messenger of Arc. I would love to have that, but I'm not paying $24.99 for that. that movie's pretty darn cool but then there was a bunch of other stuff there was a Dra Dracula Dracarilla or something like that uh it's the Shout Factory rock and roll Dracula movie shout out to My Killer Podcast for letting me know that they even existed but I I, it's not my thing so I didn't pick it up there was a couple of cri other criterions other than those two I showed you in the beginning which I did not get um my store credit paid for about three quarters of the stack I'm about to show you, and I didn't want to pile on even more money or more titles. Um, plus, I wasn't terribly interested in those. Yes, they're Criterion. Yes, they'd be cool, but it's whatever. But I did get six titles. This first one is free, and I bought this solely for the slip. Yes, I know. I was in her bitching saying I don't really care for slips, but this is a slip that I've wanted for a long time. Um, I already own this movie but what the hell in time with the nice cool it's holographic it's hard to pick up on here I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in here or not 
But in time, with slit, figured what the heck. Next, another A24 title. So this is the second A24 title I've picked up today. I don't know who's in here except for Chloe Grace Moretz, but it's called Dark Places. As you can see, A24. So I figured what the heck. Next, three. Three Criterion. First one, spine number 601. It is a Mikhail Kalatazov. Sure. Picture, letter never sent. Look at that. $7.99 for a Criterion. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's about. It's about, I guess, two, uh, I don't know, four members of a geological expedition who are stranded in the bleak and unforgiving Siberian wilderness while on a mission to find diamonds. So, yeah, something like that. Next is spine number 564 from 1964, a film by Masahiro, Masahiro Shinoda, which I think I have a couple of his other movies. A movie called Pale Flower. $12.99, folks. Better than the Barnes & Noble sale. So, don't know anything about it. Uh, seductive jewel of the Japanese new wave, a Yakuza fresh out of prison becomes entangled with a beautiful and enigmatic gambling addict. There you go. That's all I need to know. Next, spine number 753. This case is a little damaged. See on the front there, it's got a little splash, slash to it, but I don't care. Thin blue line. Probably one of the best documentaries in the Criterion. One of the best. Not the best, but one of the best. Um, I hate to admit it, I don't think I've seen this all the way through. So I'll happy, you know, be happy to add to the collection, but thin blue line. And finally, I showed it. I've never owned this movie. I've only seen it once. It is the follow-up to my favorite movie, The Crow. And that is The Crow, City of Angels. Yes, $16.99, but I don't care. Um, I haven't looked up to see what this goes for or anything like that yet, but I'm assuming $16.99 is probably a lot less than what I'd pay for it on eBay. But that's it. So, I mean, I can't beat that. An A24, a slip, three Criterions, and an out-of-print Blu-ray? I'm happy with that. So... That's going to end part two of my Owensboro shopping trip. You see me at the vendor mall, you see me at my mega replay. That's going to do it. So like I always say, until I see you again, this is Ryan from Movies with Ryan. Have a fantastic night.